Hello folks, my name is Mari Master and I welcome you to my fourth Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In the first tutorials you will have learned basic knowledge about the uh, Unreal Engine 4 cloth editor and uh, settings. And in this video, in the third video, I will show you to add a cloak to your character. So let's right jump in to Unreal Engine 4. Here I have my character, Vanguard. And uh, as you can see, he's moving, but he doesn't have uh, a cloak. So we want to change that. And uh, for this, uh, we have to um, first export this character. So we are right-clicking our character, a set action, uh, export it. And in this case, I will export him to my Unreal 4 tutorials folder. Okay, now we open up Blender and import this model. Right in. Okay, here we are. And before doing anything else, we have to... We have to delete this up here. I don't really know what this is, but uh, when this is still inside the FBX, when re-importing it to the Unreal Engine, um, it will totally, totally uh, destroy the model. So right-click this and delete it. Okay, now we can go on. We want to add a cloak to this character, so I just simply add a plane. Again, do every edit in edit mode. Rotate it, x-axis by 90 degrees, let's position it, position it and scale it a little bit. Okay, this is now the basic setup for the cloak for my character. So let's apply a new material to it. Let's call it character character cloak material. Okay, and um, of course uh, this uh, cloak needs more vertices. So let's uh, make a few subdivisions. So we get close to what we call a quad. And uh, if this is ready, we can uh, subdivide it a few more times. I think for the purpose of this tutorial, this, or let's say one more, this should be enough. Okay, now before importing it to Unreal Engine 4, we have to combine these two meshes, our character and uh, the cloak. Uh, for this, we first select the cloak and then shift select the character and hit the join button. So one thing to do before this is ready is to bind the cloak to one bone of the character, let's say to the chest or shoulder bone. So let's find out which bone controls the chest. So in pose mode, yeah, this looks okay. So it's the spine 2 bone. So then again in object mode, select our mesh, go into edit mode, hit A until nothing is selected, then go into the materials tab and select the character cloth material. Press select and only the cloak is selected. Now go into the vertex groups, select the spine 2 bone and press assign. This will assign the cloak to the bone and uh, if we now in pose mode move the chest, the cloak moves with it. Okay, now this is ready and uh, we can export it to FBX. In, ex in export FBX settings, I always choose apply modifiers to faces and amateurs don't add leaf bones. 
now I export it again into my Unreal Engine Tutorials folder, which, uh, by the way, I will upload to the project file later too. And we can now go again into Unreal Engine 4. Right click um, the character mesh and uh, press re import. Then select the mesh that we edited in Blender and hit open. This might take a few seconds uh, depending on the um, vertices or how many vertices your mesh has. Now let's uh, apply a material to to the cloak because it doesn't have one yet. So let's make a new material firstly. Let's call it cloak material. So, and again, let's make it green. Let's make it a nice green with little bit shininess and of course it must be two-sided to be visible from both sides so the material material has set up i put it in here now it's uh, calculating a little bit and once it's finished calculating you can see the cloak so now here in this uh, skeletal mesh editor, we could uh, apply our cloth paint, but one special thing you, we have to do before is um, edit the physics asset for it, because we want special bones to collide with the cloak later. But uh, you have to uh, take care in this. One special hint is to never use boxes in your physics asset because uh, this will disable a uh, cloth, cloth uh, simulation at all. I don't know why, but it's the case. And the second thing to mention is that whenever you change anything in the physics asset, you have to make a new cloth asset. So keep this in mind. When you're changing your physics asset, they won't, well, it won't take uh, any effect on the actual clothing asset. And another thing to uh, take care of is that um, the bone count that can be uh, colliding uh, with the cloth is um, uh, not so high. So only a few bones can collide with the cloth. That's why let's just create a new physics asset just for the cloth collision. collision. So right click our skeleton mesh, create a new physics set. You don't have to assign it, it will work anyways. And the new physics set I will call Vanguard Low. Asset. Okay, now in here, let's uh, firstly edit the colliders. Uh, I suggest uh, deleting all colliders that are below the hit, uh, over the hits. And now let's select everything else, make it a little bit smaller. For the purpose of this tutorial, I won't go too detailed into this. Just resize and scale the bones that it fits your mesh. Okay, this should be good enough. And uh, let's um, add a mesh uh, on the butt of our character. And um, this should be, let's say, spine one or hips, hips. Okay, double click hips, and with this, we'll add a new bone, scale it a little bit, and um, make it fit to the character. OK, 
okay, this should be good enough. Um, physics type is always at default on this uh, collision response uh, enabled. Then I can uh, hit save and exit this. And now we can go into our cloth editing again. First in the section selection mode, right click, create clothing asset, choose a special name if you like, choose the physics asset we created, Bengal clothing, clothes, physics, and create. And then apply this new created clothes asset. This might take a few seconds again, depending on how many vertices your cloak has. And after uh, shortly compiling shaders, we can go into cloth paint mode. And then the cloth paint tools select the asset. And um, sometimes, for some reason, the rotation of the asset is wrong, so it's below the ground. But this is, uh, we, we, we can, um, this is no problem because we can um, disable the floor and then uh, paint in here. So again, for this purpose, the purpose of this tutorial is I'm going fast with the brush tool, choosing value of 1000, the brush size, so the brush size is okay, I think, and then just paint everything I want to be moving will be simulated. Okay, I think this is good enough. And now I'll disable the paint tools. And as you can see, the cloth is simulating. Of course, it's, an, it's now a, bit, a little bit stretchy, and that's because I choose a value of 1000. You can uh, quickly fix this in the asset details, in the clothing, clothing properties, and uh, choose a solver frequency of 1000. Um, by the way, in the next video, I will um, uh, explain uh, a few of these values and what I'm doing and how you can tweak them. So hit enter, and you can see. It's simulating better. So, okay, now let's save this and uh, let's go into our world and let's see if it's colliding with the character. Yes, as you, as you can see, it's colliding with the character. It's moving and um, of course the settings are not perfect now. The, the gravity is a little bit too low and uh, the damping is a little bit too low but uh, in the next video I will explain how to how to edit these values and also make the collusion a little bit better okay so this should be it for this video you know know how to add a cloak to your character that's colliding with your character and uh, in the next video, I will edit the clothes settings a little bit more so that the collusion has a little bit uh, better working. So uh, if you like this video, consider subscribing or leave a like. And uh, if you've got any questions so far, um, write a comment below. And I would say see you in the next video.